Yeah. Okay, so I had a dream the other night. <clears throat> in my house that I grew up in, there was a door that we never used. The door was in the laundry room, whatever. It, it led outside. We didn't need it. There's no purpose for it. Um, and two nights ago, I had a dream that I was in my laundry room, and I peeked through the window of that door, and I saw another room, and there was nothing in it. I start wandering back through the house, right? And then I come back to the laundry room, and I open the door and I stepped inside, and there was nothing in this room, but it's as though the house that I grew up in, in my dream, had this entire room in it that was always there, but somewhat neglected. And I thought about the dream, and I wrote it down in my journal, I thought, what is it? And it's possible, now that I'm taking on these new customs, and it's not entirely new, but now that I'm taking on these customs as my, of my own free will, this Jewish heritage, um, I realized that that's what the room represented. So now I think maybe it's time to start putting some furniture into it. And I think for all of you, I, I think for all of you, um, you know, who aren't from but curious or whatever, who want to learn more, I, I challenge you all to discover what kind of rooms have always been there in your houses that, you know, you have yet to discover.